What's good, YouTube? It's your man, BG Tech Life. Here on the desk, I got my MacBook Pro M1 uh, 2020 right here. Very dope device, guys. Very dope, very powerful. But with something like this, you definitely gonna have to have a budget for some accessories. And I'm about to show y'all my five top accessories for the MacBook Pro M1 2020. Let's go. Okay guys, you definitely gonna need a mouse. And this is the MX Master 3. Picked it up from Best Buy. Put a link down in the description for Amazon, oh guys. Um, this mouse right here, the MX Master 3, is very dope. I started off, I had the first MX Master and I just upgraded to this MX Master 3 specifically for this MacBook Pro I bought. Um, this is a very smooth mouse, guys. It's, this mouse has a lot of functionality and also there is Logitech software for your MacBook, for your Apple products, where you can program this mouse in different functionality for all the different scroll wheels and the buttons on this mouse, guys. So um, you invested in the laptop, um, you definitely wanna invest in a nice mouse and uh, I definitely recommend this. This thing is smooth on any surface. Um, you can use the you, you can use uh, the USB, you can use it through Bluetooth as wireless and Bluetooth, guys. You can hook it up to three devices at one time. Just a beast of a mouse. Smooth, ergonomic, comfortable in hand, and just super, a lot of functionality, and you can program. You definitely gonna want to have some extra storage for your MacBook Pro. So this is what I use. This is the Samsung T7 SSD. This is a, a USB 3.2. Very fast transfer speeds. You can get these in various sizes. I only have it in a 500 gigabyte because I use it for basically transferring files from different phones and devices to my MacBook, to my iPad. But it's very dependable, very speedy. And as you can see, it's just very pocket size, very minimal right here, guys. So this is definitely some nice storage and uh, very minimal uh, size hard drive SSD for your MacBook Pro guys. So you definitely wanna check something like this out. The link will be down in the description. Definitely guys, the MacBook Pro is gonna have you living that dongle life. Cause the only thing on a MacBook Pro is two type C ports and a audio jack. So you definitely need some dongles to mess with the MacBook Pro. And this is what I'm using right now. This is a dongle that I got from Alki. Um, basically a cable dongle. And um, it's real versatile. It helps me in certain situations if I want to live stream and I need to plug in mics, things of that nature, plug in flash drives, or also it has um, HDMI, it has USB-C pass-through and ethernet, guys. So it just makes me real versatile. If I'm in a hotel room and I want to plug up an ethernet cord, get some, uh, some high-speed internet or just whatever, whatever I need to plug up and I need, you know, a couple ports, this, is definitely my go-to guys. And I'll put the link down in the description, but yeah, um, very dope little hub right here and very inexpensive from Augie. Now, as far as headphones and earbuds, guys, I'm not big on AirPods or AirPod Maxes or whatever, because I'm a guy to use multiple different type of devices. I just don't use uh, Apple devices, guys. So when it comes to sound and my MacBook Pro, what I'll be walking around with when I want to carry some earbuds is these uh, Liberty Air 2 Pros from uh, Soundcore, guys. I really like these. I really like the sound that they produce, guys. And um, they are, like I said, I'm out in the bottom. I put it in ambient mode, noise canceling mode. And I just love the build and how they look. And they basically match my MacBook, guys. So I'm um, just a very dope little pair of uh, Air AirPods or, or earbuds that you can have and you know you can pull out when you don't want everybody to hear what you're doing on your MacBook or you're trying to do some editing or you're listening to some music or whatever you're doing guys but um yeah they, they just an alternative to the AirPods that most people that use MacBooks use but um I like to use something where I can be cross-platform Android Apple, whatever, and these just look so dope. They look space gray themselves. Okay, guys, last but not least, I would urge you to go out and grab you 
a controller. Now, I use Xbox controllers, Microsoft controllers. I love the way they look, um, and I can use them with my Xbox also. And I just like to collect them, different colors, things of that nature. And you could, could actually connect them to your MacBook Pro and play certain games on them. Like, I like to play my Asphalt 9 with my uh, Microsoft controller, and that's a way that I can game on the go. If I'm in a hotel or I'm out and about and I just wanna do something, I wanna have a little fun, I go ahead and pull out my Xbox controller. I carry one around with me, cause I can use it with my MacBook or my iPad, and uh, just go ahead and play me a little Asphalt 9 or something, guys. So these are accessories that really, guys, when you, when you buy one of these devices, you're gonna have to pick up a couple things to really make the device that much more useful and that much more fun and that much more productive. So these were just five things that I like and I use with my uh, MacBook Pro 2020, the M1 version. Um, and I appreciate y'all for watching. It's your man, BG Tech Life. Subscribe, like, comment. I'm out. Peace.